Okay. <laughs> um, Reagan is always dancing and prancing around, and um, she, she got that from Mama Coleman. Well, well I guess she did. Clogging, and, right? Didn't. Well, she uh, takes dance, and she. Uh, and she got the genes from her other grandmother. Yeah, she definitely did. She, she's always moved to music and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And so, last year she took, um, well, the last two years I think, she took uh, jazz, and I don't know if there was a different kind or not. She tried ballet right at first, but she said that was too slow and. And she, uh, wants she, to to, she, she wants, wants to move. To move. <laughs> she wants to move faster, like Miss Coleman. <laughs> and uh, so she uh, uh, was in several recitals and things like this. And and Noel and I would go down and spend the night and watch the recital, and then come back the next day, or maybe even stay two days. But um, so we got to see her a bunch of times. But of course, there were times that we didn't go down and see her. And uh, but she is a live wire. Mm -hmm. She, um, Chris is just like, I mean, she is, she watches a lot of TV, but, but she, um, has always been so active. And, you know, if she goes, if she watches something that, um, had, they have fancy clothes or anything, well, she'll go find her something to wear that, um, uh, and dress up. She plays dress up. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And, um, She'll go find a skirt, or she'll go find a sweater. She'll go find scarves of her mother's, high heels of her mother's, uh, just all sorts of stuff. And she uh, does whatever they're doing on the TV, you know, age appropriate. What's the likelihood that you're going to have another grandchild? I don't know. I I about give up. I, I, Jay, uh, Nathan and Cassie definitely want to have one or more, but. You know, they're not financially set yet to uh, have kids, although they say you never are, and I guess that's true, but um, they're just not to the point well, where they, that's they, in they, their scope of things right now. So, yeah. Has Reagan spent time with you here in, in this apartment, Aunt June? I'm sorry? Has Reagan spent time with you here in... She's been up here a couple of times. She's uh, more often. We have gone. Uh, Mother has gone out to our house, mm -hmm. and um, she has seen Reagan there, and then like for and meals see, and things. And then you and Noel go to see her down quite often at her home. Yeah, we go down there and see her more than she comes up here, really. But um, she usually only gets up here five or six times a year, which is. If that much, and that is not enough. My uh, apartment is strictly a one-person apartment. Mm -hmm. It's uh, we we had a great time when Debbie and Noel and Bill and Suzanne and I were here. We just laughed and talked and just had the best time. But it's really just a one-person apartment because I have I just have one twin bed, and uh, so it's really not. I really don't have a place for overnight guests. So now, why is it? What happened to your storage locker? Hmm? What happened to your storage locker? What happened to your storage locker? Because we oh. know you used to have one. Well, um, I, I got a storage locker and put the things in it that I was, it was overcrowded in here, and I put things in it. And I uh, came up a real bad storm one night, and he called me, the man that owns the lockers called me and said, Mrs. Kipfel, I've had 45 tops blown off of my lockers over here, and yours was one of them. I said, well, I can't come out there tonight. It's too stormy. So I'll try to get a piece of plastic over it. And uh, so he put a piece of plastic over it. And I got the man that helped me get it out there to begin with to go with the next morning. And we brought it over here. It's just crammed in it, all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, thank you for talking to me. I'm going to go take a picture of this quilt now that Aunt June made. That Which quilt? The one up here on the wall. Oh, okay. Do you need to get the light on there? Yeah, I'll get the light on. Let's back up a little bit.
bit. Oh, that's so beautiful. And these were handkerchiefs of your friends uh -huh. that they donated? Uh -huh. And she did all this handwork by herself? Handwork. The buttons? I, I, those are reflection of buttons that I had over the years. And I'll just take a quick look at her kitchen and her... A, I won't take your bedroom. Take a picture of the quilt of the kettle oh. wall hanging in there. The button wall hanging. She's got all, I'm getting family pictures too. She's got her whole, uh, well, a selection of her favorite family photos in here. All she has to do is look up and she did this Kittrell, Kittrell button. And that's Will K's son. Call him Matt. And this is Walker K's son. Believe this. This is the two-bedroom house that Aunt June and Uncle Billy bought, and we used to take so many pictures on that front step there. And they built a lot on to the back. This is 107 Arnold Street. They bought, oh, this house next door looks so nice. They bought this as their guest house. Debbie had some sort of bicycle accident at the end of the street. It's a nice neighborhood. Look at the width of the streets. <laughs> I'm driving my truck with the RV on the back. So this seems like a tight squeeze to me. Well, this is the thriving downtown square of Centerville. That would have been the courthouse. I don't know if it's still used for that. They have a new city hall. But um, across the street, then the buildings behind me. Beyond the courthouse, if you make a left-hand turn, it's Highway 100 to Hohenwald. We've had Toddy's Bend, and I'm going to go out and spend the, a few days with my cousin Debbie. I'm happy about that. Park anywhere. This is just an alley, one block off the square. And that is the church, the Baptist church over there, that I always remembered passing as we would leave the square to drive. That's the Duck River down there. I'm sort of at the end of Toddy's Bend Road. It turns into a one lane, so I don't want to go any further, but you see the old bridge. Let me back out a bit. The old bridge that's here, and I believe that is Kenny Toddy's farm up there where he's raising Black Angus. And here's beautiful beautiful grassland, but they don't farm a lot of Angus cattle farms around here. There we go. See the red? Yep. 
dot were being recorded up here. Here we are on Debbie and Noel Coleman's farm, and this is Holly, Debbie's daughter, and Jason, her husband, Holly's husband, is taking our picture, and it's been a nice morning with Aunt June. Did you enjoy your morning, Debbie? Yes, I did. Uh, breakfast was very nice. I've always liked pancakes. And uh, then Noel and I had to go to the doctor, and and uh, now we're back out here on the farm. How was your day, Holly? It was a day. <laughs> it's over. That's all that matters. It really but you have taught. You're taking care of. Yes. Of I'm a preschool, preschool teacher uh -huh. of 18. So. Oh, that's a fun job. Though. But it keeps, what, it keeps tired the ages. If they're threes, mm -hmm. three and four. It's been a long day, but it's been good. It's been good. Ready to go home. So Unwind. where does Jason have to go tonight? He has to go somewhere tonight? Just a few, few minutes up the road. Oh, community dinner. Okay. Go to school house. It's our community It says center community house. center. I saw mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That's the old school house. They used to have a place then. Well, thank you. Are you welcome? Go I ahead. Just press the button. All right. <laughs> yep. Um, this is Noel Coleman, Debbie's husband, and he's very proud of his property here. We've got about uh, 180 acres total. Right now, I've got 43 goats and 12, 14 chickens, and four little cats and a dog. And uh, we've been down here, and uh, I've been coming. She walked up the aisle for me. I was, the, I dinner. stood in a rehearsal ride. And I've been coming down here ever since I was a little boy, because my grandparents were raised, right, raised my mother right over across the road. So we have visited my entire life. And, and he loves it. And we enjoy living in the country. He never wants to leave. I finally got to retire. I having to drive 120 miles a day to work for 38 years, but uh, it was worth it to get to live down here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we would do if we didn't have it. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know either. <laughs> What are you all looking for? Huh? Sugar. Sugar. I'm down in front of the tenant house, which was Uncle Freddie's house. So this would have been across the street. And where this food mart is was a, like a Dairy Queen. And right there, I'll walk around and get the front of the house. It's Uncle Freddie's house. I sat out on the porch here with John Black one time talking, but most of the time we came in this back door into the kitchen and they could have had a hen house back in that building, which is really nice. Now here was the big strawberry field, which now has a car wash. And this was the most ugly, disappointing thing to see when I 
came here. This was my grandparents' farm. Houses and apartment buildings back there, whereas that led, there was a chicken coop and orchards. This was the great little garage that had the long cement driveway. Here's the side of their house. There's the entrance that we came in a lot. And this back room is where my parents stayed in the back bedroom. This is now a doctor's house. still have the long cement driveway, crosses over to where Glenda Dameron lived, and there was the front porch with the swing windows, and I don't remember it, this entrance, it probably wasn't there, this has been made for handicap for his paper. They, uh, the doctor enclosed the uh, way to get to the smokehouse and the milk house. I believe the smokehouse was the first one, that building right there. And there's the side of the garage. It looks so small. The barn was right in here. Maybe its foundation was where that building is. But my grandparents sold off a lot of their land uh, for a hospital and their pasture land. It used to go up to those trees or further. This is my darling cousin Debbie who, who graciously got up and drove with me today and she's going to be my driver now. This is cousin Julia's house, cousin Ollie, they had a driveway and a son named Jimmy as far as I remember. This was the courthouse and uh, cousin Molly's house was right over there on that corner. Hohenwald Church of Christ, where we came so often, and it looks like they've widened the street because I thought this is a great big front yard, and this was a, there was a tree that we'd have pictures of granddaddy standing underneath, and look how big they've made the Hohenwald Church of Christ now, going down there. And this direction is south. Down there is where my mother and Uncle Billy went to high school and this is the funeral home in Cohenwald. It's called McDonald Funeral Home. Debbie was looking for um, Kittrell Oil Company building, and this is it. It was Shell Oil that he was the distributor for. So he came, Uncle Billy came to work over here in Hohenwald. Debbie and I went out to the country club to look for the swimming pool, which has since been filled in, but we found a nice man, Mr. Henson, who uh, told us that the Speedway was still here and that there were races tonight. So this is where Uncle Billy brought us to the stock car races. And Debbie just told me that she never came. It's Uncle Hunter's house. We drove by it. We weren't sure. Um, I thought he had a porch. Oh, there, that might be the screened-in porch where the picture was taken. 
and had a small garage and a small car. I'm driving the Natchez Trace Parkway, which my dad was working on when he met my mother in Tennessee in Hohenwald because he had a room in Hohenwald.